All right, guys, one thing that we talk about every preseason is getting ready, not only physically, but uh, more so of what we need to carry out in the backcountry to be prepared for any situation. So today, um, and I've talked about this a bunch over the years, but we're going to do another one. And because it keeps evolving and changing uh, what we carry to be prepared out in the backcountry, one big uh, component is what we carry on the tunnel bag. Obviously, there's a bunch of stuff that I carry on my back and my backpack, uh, which we'll discuss in another video. And then also my handlebar bag, uh, a lot of that stuff. The, the components that I need to get to frequently. That's what I carry in my handlebar bag, but the tunnel bag is a huge component here. Um, I am using the new Brant Flex uh, bag from Polaris uh, in the large size. And so a couple things about this bag, we've got an outside component. This is where like when my gloves get wet, I throw my gloves out here. This is where my water bottle goes, um, stuff that I don't really care if it gets, gets wet. And so a uh, couple things here, siphon. Siphon is a really big one. Obviously, if you run out of gas, that's one thing, but uh, if you need to make a fire to stay warm and have to stay the night or whatever, uh, siphon gets a fire going in a hurry. Um, I got my Fox pump for my shocks. And so, you know, not a ton on the outside, um, more so just uh, the stuff that I don't really care uh, that gets wet. So now all the magic on the inside. Oh, actually, sorry. There was one more thing in here. One of three saws. So this is a, this is a, called a Sven saw. This is a bow saw. This turns into a triangle. This is for when you got to cut a lot of wood at night. Okay. All right. So here we go diving in. Um, one of the accessories uh, that's available with this bag is a waterproof liner bag. Um, this is actually the small version, but this is where I keep, you know, all my spare gloves, um, pretty much dedicated to gloves. Uh, you could put your face mask, neck warmer, anything like that in here. Again, just uh, those components that you don't want to get wet. So that's kind of that's kind of one of the, the big things in here. Um, and then, you know, kind of the, the nuts and bolts of, of what I carry in here. And so, you know, one, one thing that we talk about is you don't have to carry a lot of stuff. You just got to carry the right stuff. And so it's amazing. You know, these two bags right here, uh, over the years has been able to get every sled so far off of the mountain. So, um, I'll kind of just quickly and briefly dive into what we've got in the bag. So, um, these are these are climb tool bags uh, that they sell uh, when you purchase um, the skins toolkit bag they come with their own bag as well um, i've kind of just morphed everything into this but the skins bag is really cool too this is the polar specific kit that we have uh, in stock and then they also have the larger toolkit with a little bit more selection there so um again here this is right i mean this doesn't look like a lot but man this has fixed a lot of snowmobiles over the past um and so uh you know this is in combination with uh the lightweight wrenches from skins that comes in the brant toolkit and then you know obviously just some just some a few little specialty things but not much so um an assortment of sockets crescent wrench spring puller uh three eighths ratchet all of the Allens and Torxes, screwdriver and some wrenches. And that, I mean, again, it's crazy. Like, you know, this has been able to pull drive shafts and take out skids when logs get stuck in there and change A arms and uh, you name it, this has been able to do it all. So um, we'll do a rundown of what we have uh, in the toolkit. But again, um, the Polaris specific kit covers a lot of this. And then obviously the large skins toolkit um, has all of this covered. Okay, so that's the tools. And now parts. And you know, for any of you guys laughing, we'll he rides a player so he's got to carry parts no this is to fix your sled dude we got to have a lot right we break stuff and there's snowmobiles and like stuff breaks so we got to be again prepared so um a couple things uh this is one that um my buddy ryan who works for us he's saved us uh two times now with water weld so i carry water weld this actually was able to fix a guy sucked up a rock through the heat exchanger and uh, we were able to actually fix the hole with some water weld which was cool uh this is a throttle safety switch um if 
you know, on a Polaris, if you get into a tree and you rip the throttle safety switch off, your sled is no longer going anywhere. So we carry one of these to, um, to be able to take care of that situation. A ski rubber, um, we yeah, carry a couple of different those. I got a stock one and a DuraPro one. Uh, hose clamps, hose clamps can mend a lot of things. Uh, if you break an A-arm out there, we've actually gone, uh, we've got a pretty dialed setup where you hose clamp a tree to the running board and it goes to the a or the spindle push holding the spindle out for guys breaking a arms these hose clamps will save you um i've got a coolant temp sensor we've had a, seen a couple of those fail of course baling wire uh, again something that can just a lot lots of uses zip ties electrical tape a little strap here that um can you know, it's just universal brake lever, a thermostat, uh, spark plug. So this is kind of my handy dandy tool or, uh, sorry, um, parts bag. So again, like, do I have everything? No, but I've got quite a few things to, uh, to help out. So, uh, this is a really, really big one. This is something new that we're carrying this year. Um, uh, this is a, uh, first aid kit that's that comes all complete and ready to go and you know i again unfortunately we've had to use these uh you know a first aid kit um quite often to be honest you know a slip on a running board a tree branch and you know just just whatever so what's nice is um this kit comes fully stocked ready to go um, we'll have these back in stock on the store here shortly and um, you know this is again in those times when you need to be um, an asset and not a liability uh, you should have one of these okay um, so the contents of this uh, will help make your day on the mountain okay all right, and then also one more addition to the parts bag. I also have, this has got just some miscellaneous bolts um, and hose clamps, more hose clamps, exhaust springs, little things like that. This is just, uh, again, something that carries. And this is always changing, you know, adding bolts and nuts and washers and all that kind of stuff. So, but that's another one. That's how I keep track of that. So it's just not splattered all over the inside of my, uh, um, tunnel bag. So, uh, saw number two, um, and then I have saw number three that goes in my handlebar bag, but saw number two, another big, just, just a folding saw. So I've got my, uh, my bow saw and then this, saw. you know, again, if you're staying the night, you need a fire. And if you need a fire for, you know, 10 hours, that means you got to have a lot of wood and to rely on one saw only that's terrifying to me. So, um, I've got three with me at all times, just, just in case, um this is pyro putty you can see it actually looks like this in the in the case but this one's uh been around the block a time or two this is you know in case you don't have gas or whatever uh, you know this is a fire starter that we use it's a resin that has um a fire uh start starter liquid on it that um can help get a fire started on the snow sam splint so guys this is for you know in case i ended up having to use this for my wrist i got i jacked up my wrist a few years ago was able to uh, get the um uh, a sam splint and just helps uh mobile or um stabilize any sort of you know like a leg or an arm or um, anything like that and then obviously i've got my tape and gauze in my first aid kit so that's where the sam splint comes in Tow rope, uh, always need a tow rope for something, um, getting out of the water, getting a sled home if something breaks, all of that. So tow rope and then duct tape, lots of uses, bivy sack, saw number four. I guess I had four. I didn't realize I did. Uh, this is, uh, this one's pretty handy. This is a chainsaw blade on handles. Just again, this isn't ideal for a ton of type of cutting but um this will get this will get some stuff done on on some of those bigger trees too um, i carry an extra primary spring just because in case one breaks i don't want to have an excuse of not getting to the top um but you know again all of this we have available on our store um you can see uh you know again the skins toolkit we'll have these back in stock here shortly saws bivy sacks uh the franken sled that's a headlight 
uh, for your helmet. We've got those on our, uh, I carry mine in my handlebar bag, which we'll be, we'll, we'll be doing another video on. But again, guys, it all fits nice and neat right in here. And just remember, it doesn't take a lot of stuff. It just takes the right stuff.